hello, hello, hello again, beautiful people. My name is Anya Halama, the Rebel Entrepreneur. And today I wanted to talk about how to start a spiritual business. So one of the last ones that I did was different ways that um, you can start making money in the spiritual realm. And today I want to talk about how to actually start the business. Because I know a lot of the time when we start businesses, when we go off trying to do things on our own, we get so distracted as in like we don't know where to start, we don't know who to help, we don't know what to do we just don't know what's that first step that we need to take in order to be successful in absolutely everything that we're doing so I wanted to talk about those tips for you today so but first off I want to chat like what is a spiritual business so I know a lot of the times like people think spiritual businesses are they have to be like yoga teachers yogis reiki healers um, any kind of channeler like but what is an actual spiritual business so that is not the only thing a spiritual business is like yes a yoga teacher does have a spiritual business yes a reiki healer is that is a spiritual business but there's so much more that goes into that a spiritual business is any kind of business where you add a spirituality into your business for example you can work with spiritual modalities like meditation you can either be teaching your clients meditation you can be um you can be meditating with your clients you could be a meditation teacher you can use different kinds of healing modalities for example eft tapping eft tapping is something i absolutely stand by i love 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 eft tapping and it's something that i add to my clients as a value as well as um, into my business and to get rid of some of the limiting beliefs that I still have because yes I am human at the end of the day and I do still have anxieties um, limiting beliefs and things that come up for me in my regular day-to-day -day life so why not work through some of those with something like EFT tapping and if you're not familiar with what that is it moves energy around in your body in order to release any negative energy similar to acupuncture like we have different meridian points within our bodies and it just releases those negative emotions in order to allow in all of the good ones to come through as well so um, that can be a spiritual business as well as just working with your energy like praying to God praying to Buddha asking the universe for support like yes we grow up in such an uh, America especially I'm American we grow up in such a corporate America like life where we're just constantly hustle 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 and that's not how businesses run anymore it's 2021 like we don't have to constantly be hustling what we can do is work with our energy like connect the masculine and the feminine so we're not constantly grinding constantly going and constantly trying to get better um like trying to trying because if you're trying like you're not actually doing we need to start being and start actually allowing the universe to uh, allow this beautiful abundance like we don't have to work 40 hour work weeks unless you want to sometimes i do because i absolutely love what i do but that's the whole point of having a spiritually inclined business it's just adding some of those energetics those spiritual practices into your business another example is like adding intention into your business adding intention into every single thing that you're doing for example before every single post that you do are you asking the universe for this post to be sent and to be seen by the right people for the right people at the right times or are you just aimlessly posting things for the sake of posting things and then you're wondering why your content isn't converting hmm. so what kind of intentions are you putting behind your business that is what a spiritual business is it's just adding spirituality into your business and whatever that spirituality means to you but rather that whether that's creating beautiful rituals whether that's um, meditating tapping praying um, and just connecting with people we are in the age of the Aquarius we're connecting to people more and more every single day so why not connect to the people like really connect to people in your spiritual business as well 
so good. So I have three tips for you. Three ways, like how can you start a spiritual business? Well, the first thing is figuring out what kind of a spiritual business you want and setting that intention. Like actually finding out what your values are, finding out what your core missions are. Yes, I go back to this whole corporate America thing with like your values, your missions, all your statements, like who you are as a person and who you are as a business owner because that's going to come in a so 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 handy for you once you actually have a business that's spiritually inclined and that's invested with so much beauty love light like what kind of a business owner do you want to be what kind of a a leader do you want to be? Do you want to be someone that like checks their emails every four days? Or are you a business that like works around the clock and non stops like whatever replies within two hours, like set those intentions and those values for yourself. And either way, whatever works for you works for you, like make sure business is feeling good for you. Because a lot of the times like we look at what other coaches are doing, we look at what other people are saying, and we get into this like comparinitis where we're constantly like looking at other people trying to be like other coaches other mentors but it's what really feels good for you what feels good for your business like sometimes yeah I work 12 15 16 hours days because I want to because I freaking love what I do and I'm just so thrilled with everything that I'm touching but some days like I don't even want to work at all like it's Thursdays and Fridays I a lot of the time I take Thursdays and Fridays off completely because I can so like what kind of values are you allowing for yourself and for your business being completely 100% clear on who you're serving and how you're going to be serving them that is the number one thing you need to do when starting any kind of business and this isn't just for spiritual businesses this is for all kinds of businesses when you're an entrepreneur you have to know who you are talking to because your message will not resonate with every single person the people that are supposed to see it they will see it but you need to be crystal clear on who those people are because like if you're talking about like if you're trying to start a spiritual business and you're talking about like oh I went to go get my car fixed yesterday and the mechanic did this this and this and I was angry What does that have to do with your spiritual business? (laughs) Yes, it's nice to share, um, it's nice to share messages about your daily life because at the end of the day, yes, we are still all human. But what kind of a business do you wanna have? Figure out who you're speaking to and how you're going to speak to them. If you're speaking to everyone, you're speaking to no one. So make 100% sure that you know exactly who you're speaking to. The second thing is staying consistent. Make sure that you are staying consistent each and every day working on your business. Yes, sometimes you will not want to work. Maybe you want to take weekends off. Maybe you want to take Thursday, Fridays off, whatever that is like for you. Make sure that you are still staying consistent, whether that's pre-scheduling posts out, having a VA help you on those days that you don't want to work whatever that looks like for you, making sure that you are consistent because the consistency, that's where you are going to explode is once you stay consistent with your business. And I know you've heard this, we've all heard it a million times, but I'm going to remind you one more time because it's usually the people that are just right at that success mark that they quit because they're like, oh, this isn't working for me. Oh, how am I gonna... How am I gonna do this? I don't know if I can do this. Whatever limiting beliefs or thoughts they might be having for themselves, like they're either not pushing, not staying consistent, or they give up right before they are about to reach that success. Have you ever seen that meme of someone like picking away at a, like it's a cave and they're picking away at the cave, trying to reach to the other side of it. And then they give up because they've gone this entire tunnel and like, then they just give up. Well, no keep pushing keep pushing because like the second that you push a little bit harder that's when your success happens that's when you grow so keep pushing even on those days that it is a little bit harder and then the last and final tip that i have for you today is 
accept failure because sometimes failure will happen it's inevitable sometimes like sometimes you'll have good days sometimes you'll have bad days and that is completely okay honor yourself honor your energy like be good to yourself like acknowledge your bad days but do not give up like failure is not failure it's you having a lesson you learning from this so if you failed at something if absolutely no one looked at your social media posts if you got zero reach which by the way there's everyone is getting zero facebook reach and instagram reach right now because the algorithm is just so fudged up they really want you to pay for ads so if you're getting absolutely zero reach try again tomorrow like do not give up do not let one little failure get in your way where you're just completely throw your hands up in the air and you give up because you think that you've failed completely no instead of looking at failure as I failed I didn't do this like how can you look at it as a growth mindset how can you look at it as like I grew I learned something from this and I'm going to do better next time mm. so those are my tips for you for starting a spiritual business or any kind of business whichever one of whatever it is all the same um, no, no, not all the same, but we we do add spirituality into our businesses. Me specifically, I am a spiritual business coach, so those are my three tips for you. I, With that said, I would love to invite you to my free Facebook group, Spirituality for Badass Babes, where we do daily tips, tricks, we network, we communicate, we talk to each other, and we grow as a community because life is meant to be shared with more people that are on similar missions as you. So why not join a beautiful community of women who are on a very similar mission and who are ready to uh, all grow and all learn together. So join Spirituality spirituality for badass babes. Also, I do have a 90 minute rebel entrepreneur method recap. So I do run these five day rebel entrepreneur retreats. However, I've heard of people uh, just being too busy to watch all five days. So if you have not watched all five days and if you would want just a quick 90 minute recap, please sign up link is above as well I would love to have you there within 90 minutes it's literally like on the dot 90 minutes within 90 minutes I go over the entire rebel entrepreneur method and what it means for your business how you can start being a rebel in your business and finally start growing and scaling your business to consistent 10 20 30 and beyond K months consistently because we all want those consistent high high number months don't we all so thank Thank you so much and I will see you tomorrow. Ciao! Join us for this free 90-minute masterclass and find out how the Rebel Entrepreneur Method can change your life and business. For the badass spiritual entrepreneur that is ready to step into limitless abundance and consistently bring in 10, 20, 30k months. To join the masterclass, visit anyahalama.com forward slash rebel dash method.